Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Welcome in this series of video on support and resistance. First lessons, the basics. Who am I? To make it short, I was in the food industry with my own company three years ago before I faced a bankruptcy. When I lost everything, this situation pushed me to change my life and study some things that would make me work less on the long run and enjoy all that life can offer. I say work less because I was working 75 hours per week since I was 15 years old and I didn't enjoy a lot life before. So changing my life, I discovered the stock market and just after the forex market. I dedicated my time 12 hours per day, 6 days per week since 2 years now. I have read more than 50 books on the topic and watched hundreds of videos and studied professional courses too. All the knowledge that I will present in this video is the best I have found so far and I try to make this channel a one-stop learning station. My chief aim is to make you profitable. I have already taught a lot of students and most of them are profitable today and you can check their reviews on Facebook. The things that I will present in this video work well for me but it's my personal opinion so try it seriously backtest or demo first, then see by yourself. I don't create anything here, I just try to teach you what works in my experience. I hope you enjoy, let's start! In this lesson you will learn what is a support and the three types, what is a resistance and the three types too, are support and resistance area or lines, I use S and R to shorten support and resistance term because I will use it a lot during those video. Do they transform one into the other once broken? This is an important topic. Those element might seem a little bit simple and easy um, if you are already a little experienced in the business, but even myself, not very far away, I learned some of these specific topics um, more in depth and it helped me a lot in my trading. So I would advise you don't skip this video. What is a support? A support is a line or area where the price will bounce back up when it reaches it from above like a tennis ball bouncing off the ground. We will see three types of it. First type, horizontal lines. This include traditional support and resistance, Fibonacci, pivot points, round number, etc. Here is the price. So the price move up, down and up again and it created two bounces on the downside direction. When it create that, this line specific, the red line, is our support. Example number two, a non-horizontal line, like trend lines, Chanel, etc. Your price, so the price make new high, higher lows and our red line here is our trend line, our support line. We need two bounds to have a validated support or resistance. Moving averages, our third type. Those are not straight line, they are moving lines. So here is the price. Here is our moving average and as you see the price bounce. One time here and one time here. So this moving average is our support in this example. What is a resistance? A resistance is a line or area where the price will bounce back down when it reaches it from below. Like if you jump and bump your head on the ceiling, we will see the three different type of it too. So the first type, same. Horizontal line, support and resistance, Fibonacci, pivot point and round number, etc. So aside of making a bounce down, it will make a bounce two times like this up. And our red line is our resistance line or zone. 
second type, non-horizontal line like trend lines or channel. Here is a price, making lower lows, and we have two bounds, and those two bounds create what we call a trend line. Our resistance is this example. It can be a channel sometimes also. Third type like previously, moving averages but in a downtrend in this way, so price bands two time one here, one here, and this red line is therefore our resistance so second question we had is is one become the other automatically once broken? my answer is it can be more efficient for you trading separately a support from a resistance when you make your analysis and we will show in depth why is that and you will see by yourself that it works really better this way so support and resistance can sometimes become one to into another but most of the time it's more efficient to treat a support as a support and a resistance as a resistance Before we see some example, let me explain to you how works my chart. The chart I will use for my example are in blue and white. They are from MetaTrader 4 platform. A blue candle is an up candle or bullish candle. Looking like that. In this candle we have two parts. A body and a wick or shadow. The body defines the entry point and the exit point since each candle defines a specific period of time like 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hour, 1 day, 1 week depend on the time frame that you choose to detail you more visually let's look what happened inside one candle how the price move inside it so since it's a blue candle, it's a bullish candle this means this candle started down and finished up so the price start down right here then it come back down at the extreme point low then it made all the way up and then at the end of the time it finish at this specific place that's what happened in a bullish candle and a blue candle that go up now let's look at what happened in a white candle on my chart it will be a down candle or a bearish candle same apply body weeks or shadow showing the extreme where the price has been and rejected and how the price move so in this specific candle it's a down candle bearish candle it means the price went down in this candle so it started up right here then it move a little up has been rejected all the way down and move a little up again and it finished there the entrance and the exit point show the body and the extreme point show where the price has been rejected now let's look at our example so we are on EURUSD daily chart my yellow line is my line of support and we have a very good support here with 1, 2 rejection, 3 rejection 4 and 5 bounce up like a floor, it reacts like a floor so once this level is broken right here most of the textbook will tell you that the price should react as a new resistance and bounce down when it will come from down like this but in this specific case and in a lot of cases actually the price don't react as a resistance on a previous support but the support as you can see break up and when it's up and come back to the level it react again as a support and bounce one time two times three times so this level of support reacted very well as a support all the time but as a resistance unfortunately it didn't now let's forget about the support and let's look at some resistance so when the price leaves the zone and come back up we could have taken this previous resistance right here as it reacts well and we have a nice one big candle rejection at this level when it come back then we have the second level of resistance that react perfectly as a resistance when the price come back and finally on this specific chart our third level of resistance reacted once again perfectly as a resistance on this daily chart so we have 
a level of support that react very well as a support but as a resistance not so much and a level of resistance, 3 level of resistance that react perfectly as a resistance also. Why is that? In my understanding from psychology an investor buy when he perceives the price as cheap in a certain context and sells when he perceives the price expensive also in a certain context. When a level is broken our mind won't make us think that the level we were ready to sell is a good level to buy now instantly because we believed it was an expensive value just before and it's not easy to switch our belief from expensive to newly cheap once broken. That's why we would prefer to buy a little lower than the level of resistance that we found expensive a while ago. That's why, in my perception, the price might break again the broken resistance to find support maybe a bit lower where it did find good support in the past. Note that some levels are perfectly reacting as support or resistance. So it happens often, I agree. I just wanted to show you that making a difference between a support and a resistance is a good thing and provide more efficiency to your trading. Sometimes the level will react well in both directions, sometimes not. And this sometimes not is nice to be aware of. Last tip, when you draw them on your chart, use two colors, one for the resistance and one for the support, so you will differentiate them very easily. And maybe a third color for a level acting well as a support and a resistance. Support and resistance, are they area or precise line? They can be both and we will see now why. When you treat support and resistance separately, you will find more precise lines firstly, then when you plot your level with the candlestick chart, there is a precise way to plot them, a way that works better from my personal experience. Also know that it is not so much important to plot a precise line for a lot of traders, because there is two types of traders, the touch traders and the more conservative ones that wait a one candlestick or a candlestick pattern to enter their trades. If you see a candlestick like a pin bar or a pattern like a M and W, it doesn't matter that much that you use a precise line or an area for your support and resistance, as long as those levels are significant and you learn this topic to here. And for your information, the touch trader enter exactly at the level, that's why they need a precise level. And it's helpful also when you do scalping, short term trade. Summarize, support and resistance are based on turning point in the market and we need as low as two bounces at the same level to create a support and resistance level or area. There can be three different types of support and resistance, horizontal lines, trend lines, non-horizontal lines, moving averages lines. A support and resistance can be an area, but we can also find high probability precise lines, especially by separating the support and resistance in our analysis. Taking them accordingly to their type will give us better entry and tighter stop loss, better win rate also. A support won't automatically transform into a resistance once broken, and vice versa with the resistance once broken. We are already at the end of this video, thank you for watching, please like and share and join us on Facebook, the link are below the video, comment if you want me to do a video on a specific topic about trading, and if you need a quality broker, I recommend IC Market, and my link is below if you need. I have tested a lot of brokers in the past for Forex, and IC Market is a true ECN broker regulated in Australia and the one that I personally use and the best we have found so far with very very good condition to trade. I publish video every week so subscribe to my channel to be updated. I wish you all the best, bye!